station with the most local news. Fox 17 News starts now with a breaking news alert. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Christian Frank. And I'm Michelle DeSelms. Lots of weather news to get to tonight. And we start with breaking news out of northern Kent County. Northland Drive in Kent County closed tonight after a crash that killed two people. Fox 17's Erica Francis live on the scene tonight with the latest details. Erica. Yeah, Christian and Michelle, we arrived on scene just over an hour ago. We just got done speaking with a, a sergeant from the Kent County Sheriff's Department who tells us two people are confirmed dead. Now, this call came in just a little after four this afternoon. Um, we are not told the specifics on who is dead, their identity yet. They are still investigating this crash. Now, this is between 14 Mile and Indian Lake Road on Northland Drive, and that's just north of Rockford. There's still a very strong police presence here, um, still working to investigate on how this crash happened. But what we do know is that alcohol does not seem to be a factor in this crash and that it is likely due to the weather. And of course, we will continue to update you as soon as any and all information comes into our news. Newsroom. For now, live in Kent County, Erica Francis, Fox 17 News. Well, we've been on top of that crash for more than an hour, and we've been hearing about a lot of crashes all day as that snow continues to fall. Yeah, and of course, we have team coverage tonight on all the winter storm coverage. As you can see, our reporters staked out all across West Michigan right now. We're going to hear from them in just a couple of minutes. We also have Kevin and Rob here tonight, keeping us updated on the weather and traffic. But we begin with Chief Meteorologist Joe Kopachek. Joe? Yeah, Chris and Michelle, it has been a very busy afternoon, and this is the second significant storm that we have had less than a week and just think a couple of days ago we had record high temperatures. Take a look at the radar. We're not quite done with it yet, but the bulk of the snow is over with this particular storm. If we take a look at where the darker shades of uh, purple or blue are, you can see they extend through Kent County down into Barry County and over toward Lansing. You get back to the west of that and the snow becomes much lighter and uh, also starting to break apart. Down to the south, there's a dry slot coming in, so it stopped uh, snowing at Pawpaw. Three rivers you're still going to get some more snow back behind that as that second batch rotates in from the west. But again, that is some lighter snow coming in from the west. So uh, between now and probably 8, 9 o'clock, I could say some areas may pick up another inch or two of snow. Same thing off to the north. You can see there's some breaks starting to show up over Lake Michigan, Muskegon, up toward Whitehall. There's another batch rotating in from the west. So the bulk of the snow is down, but we're not completely done. We could see another inch, maybe two inches of snow. Take a look. We still have winter storm warnings in effect for a good portion of West Michigan. They run until 1 o'clock. North of that is a winter weather advisory. South of that, along and south of 94, also a winter weather advisory. And there's a chance uh, as that snow comes down that it may get dropped earlier. But right now, those advisories and warnings run until 1 o'clock. How much snow total are we going to get? We've got a large swath of 6 to 10 inches in here. Again, uh, down in Hastings, Barry County, a couple of reports of around a foot of snow. So that seems to be the sweet spot. But again, along and north of 94, along and south of 96, about 6 to 10 inches that we picked up or will pick up by the time this thing is over. And again, there's going to be some isolated spots with more than that. Tomorrow morning, we're looking at 17 degrees and generally dry conditions. Uh, temperatures are going to be starting to climb later in the week. I'll show you that. We're going to probably melt much of the snow coming up. Thanks, Joan. As Joe said, amount of snow that people are getting varies, but it seems like everybody's getting in on the action yeah, this time around. Certainly. We have reporters all across the area from Muskegon to Kalamazoo. We start tonight with Tracy Henson, who's live in Allegan County. Tracy. Christian and Michelle, the traffic behind me along US 131 has slowed down considerably since we first got here when we traveled along the roads. People were going way too fast, but they have started to slow down. Conditions out here, borderline whiteout conditions. We are at the tail end of this snow system, as Joe mentioned earlier. So we are starting to see that snow slowly start to diminish off. Conditions out here, very cold as well. I've been monitoring our wind chills with my Kestrel mobile weather tracker. If you you will out here my mobile weather station it is showing just about a wind chill of 10 but at times it has dropped to six it is very cold out here which means it's a different kind of snow than what we saw last week last week we saw that very wet slushy snow this time it's a much lighter but very icy snow at times when we were driving through the city of Allegan it was hard to even tell which lane we were in so if you're out on the roadways tonight you are going to want to take it slow and plan a little extra time for now reporting in Allegan County I'm Tracy Hinson Fox 17 News
Well, we've already told you about the deadly crash in Cedar Springs, but so far there haven't been that many accidents considering the weather. Yeah, Rob was to be standing by now with look the traffic conditions, and Rob, you're saying it's because people are going so slowly today. Yes, however, it has been a steady flow of a mixed bag when it comes to uh, crashes on the highways. But yes, I agree that I think that uh, just anecdotally, we're going to see uh, fewer crashes when people are driving slower, and that's really the case. The most common crash that we actually see in this kind of weather is the slide off. Most of the crashes that we are seeing actually are fender benders, and so I think that's a reflection of mm, misjudging of uh, stopping distances and uh, maybe lane clo lane changes that are ha are not handled well. We've got a crash at 131 and uh, 196, and a couple of crashes along 96. But uh, the surprise here with uh, a green here on the map showing above 60 miles per hour for eastbound 96 over in Ottawa County, but uh, lots of places where traffic slows down drastically. It's always been a, it has the whole afternoon has been very slow on 96 in between Grand Rapids and uh, Portland, and we've got an a string of crashes going along 96 to get to Portland on eastbound and the westbound sides. And we're also looking at crashes in Ottawa County, as I said, on the 96 and the eastbound side doing 60 miles an hour, which is also a surprise along the lakeshore down to South Haven above 60 miles per hour on 196, but definitely slower on 131 between Grand Rapids and Kalamazoo. One remaining crash on 94 in Kalamazoo in between Portage and Galesburg. I'm Rob West to be Fox 17 traffic. All right, thank you, Rob. Most of us have snow tonight. Some parts are messier than others though in West Michigan. Some of the southern counties are seeing that freezing rain and sleep mix in. Fox 17's Lauren Edwards live in Kalamazoo with a look at conditions there. Lauren. Yeah, I'm out here on uh, West Main near 131, and fortunately the snow has tapered off, but it is still coming down and it is cold. We were battling uh, whiteout conditions earlier, and so far it's it's kind of gone away just just to say there's no more white conditions. I mean, I can actually see more blocks earlier. I could only see a few blocks, but now I can see more in Hedemies. So I'm assuming that the drivers can see that as well. But MDOT, I spoke to them earlier and they're still encouraging people that when conditions get to the way that they were to drive slowly to not tail one another, to not be in a hurry, to completely just slow down and understand the roads when you're out on them. The plow trucks will be out all afternoon into the evening and all into the night until the last snow snow has fallen. And they're going to continue to stay out and be out on the roads, keeping uh, keeping an eye, excuse me, on potholes as they say that they can be a factor as well in many car accidents. So live reporting in Kalamazoo, Lauren Edwards, Fox 17 News. All right, thank you, Lauren, for that. Brody Carter is standing by for us in Grand Rapids. So, Brody, how are things where you are? Yeah, Crispin, Michelle, we're out here at Griggs and Rosewood Southeast in between two schools, Mulek Park Elementary as well as Grand Rapids Christian. It's been blustery all day, pretty cold, low 20s, and this this snow has just been snicking to the road. We haven't had any snow plows out here for the duration of the hours that we've been here, probably three in total. So if you're out here on these roads, it's going to be slick, it's going to be cold, it's going to be a little choppy. So make sure to uh, keep your hands at 10 and 2 and be very careful careful out here on these roads tonight. Uh, make sure to stay here at Fox 17 News as we continue to bring this breaking weather coverage. But for now, we'll send it on back to Christian and Michelle. You guys? All right. Two hands on the wheel. Good advice, Brody. Thanks for mm -hmm. that tonight. And some of those snowfall totals are just starting to come in. Yeah, meteorologist Kevin Craig has all the details on that. Kevin? Yeah, we'll start with a viewer photo that was posted on Facebook, guys. This is from Cameron Earl. This is about five miles south of the Hastings area in Barry County. You can see they're tabulating almost a foot up there. Barry County, the Hastings area seems to be ground zero for the heaviest snow. Here it is. Hastings, Barry County. We have two reports on either side of the town. One 11 inch report, one uh, 12 inch report. Matawan and Van Buren County, 6.8 inches. Grand Rapids, that's the official total at the National Weather Service office just by the airport. 6.2 inches there. Granville and Kent County, 6 inches. Comstock Park, my neck of the woods, up around 5 inches. I get to shovel that when I leave after a day at work. And then uh, Battle Creek also, Calhoun County at 5 inches. Some of those totals are going to go up as we go through the evening hours uh, because there are people just getting home from work. And if you have any snowfall totals, go ahead, take a measurement, snap a photo, or just give us the total by putting it on our Fox 17 Facebook page. We can always use that. Or you can go to the National Weather Service website and give them the total as well. Just don't measure off the grass and don't measure off the pavement. Measure off the deck or something solid like uh, wood, but not the pavement because you might get a little melting in there. You can still see we have snow falling in the Grand Rapids metro area, reduced visibilities. But Joe Kopachek is coming up in just 
a few minutes. He's going to talk about this winding down and he'll also talk about another chance of picking up some lighter snow in the seven day forecast and a huge warm up next week, about 30 degrees warmer than where we are right now. That's all coming your way in just a few minutes right now. That's the very latest with the snowfall totals. I'll say thanks in advance for sending those reports in. Christian, Michelle. All right, warm up. You are talking our language. Thanks, Kevin. Two former state lawmakers now facing felony charges had their day in court. Coming up, details from the arraignments of Cindy Gamrat and Todd Corser and what her attorney has to say about it. And that is a live look at Muskegon where the snow, well, isn't quite as heavy as it is in other spots. We're going to show you the difference just a few miles can make coming up. You're watching Fox 17 News.